A problem that a lot of people have with Deus Ex is they don't really understand the full lore of the neuropathy, human augmentation, purity first, and the riots, and it's not really something you get a full effect of playing the game. Because Adam Jensen works behind the scenes a lot, he works towards the conspiracy, so he isn't really in the forefront of things. So if you want a full effect and understanding of why Neuropocene exists and why Purity First is against augmentation, then it's something that you're going to have to look up on for the adverts for the game, the wiki, or even look through all of the lore, and a lot of people don't have that sort of time because they might have to glance over things and not read every single detail, so hopefully this will help. See, neuropathine is used to help fend off Dara Deficiency Syndrome, or Neuropathesis. This is essentially a build-up of glial tissue surrounding a biochip that's been inserted into Augmentee's brains, acting like a sort of brain tumour in that sense. See, the biochip is actually there to help act as a conduit and communicate the human's natural brain system with augmented limbs that are able to feel and be controlled via the nerve system, as though they were actually part of the human body. Of course, once there's a build-up of glial tissue surrounding this, then the communication can't happen and so the augmented limbs get violently rejected in a very painful manner. Of course this is just in the game's lore, and this sort of technology of being able to have limbs controlled by the nerve system and can feel for you is only just being tested this summer in its prototype stage. But what about Adam Jensen? As we know when we went into the limb clinic, Adam doesn't need neuropathy. If we actually go into the back of their limb clinic and into one of the surgeries, we can find an email detailing this and how it seems that Adam's body is perfectly adapted for augmentation, how his body seems to have bonded with the technology and he's the next step in human evolution. This is actually foreshadowing to some of Adam's past that we find more about as the plot goes on and it evolves in tandem with some of the plot. But of course, not everyone is Adam Jensen. Everyone else has to take neuropathy, a highly expensive and addictive drug. And there's purity first activists and protests against augmentations. Protests against the corporations that seem to be pushing augmentations onto people. You need the augmentations. You need them to become stronger, faster, better, smarter. All of them. Evolution is no longer a process that takes millions of years. It's now one that follows Moore's law. Whoever can afford it is the most evolved. All of it at the cost of taking a drug that will allow you to live for the rest of your lives.